Measurement Units, Section 1, Converting Mixed Measurements. Many times you will see English units written in combination with other English units. Let's see what it takes to convert mixed units like these. One of the reasons for converting mixed units is that the arithmetic is easier. And here's an example where we have a diagram given in mixed units, feet and inches. And the question is, what's the overall length? Much easier to convert these mixed units all into one unit of measure and whether you convert them into equivalent inches and then add them all together or whether you convert those mixed units all into feet, equivalent measurements of feet, and add them up is going to make the task of finding overall length much easier. Here's an example of converting mixed units. We have four pounds, five ounces, and we want to find an equivalent all pound measurement. Well, the four pound portion is already in pounds, so no attention is needed for that. However, we need to convert the five ounces into an equivalent pound measurement. We will take that value, express it as a fraction with a denominator of one, we're going to multiply it by 1, our conversion factor fraction, where the arrangement of those values, equivalent values, will be such that ounces are canceling out one another and leaving us with a unit of pounds. When we look up the relationship, we find that 16 ounces is equivalent to 1 pound. The 16 ounces goes in the denominator with the equivalent 1 pound in the numerator. There we have our fraction value equivalent to 1. Multiplying then, we cancel out common values in the numerator and the denominator. Multiplying numerator values next, we get a 5. Multiplying denominator values, we get a 16. 5 divided by 16 to replace the fraction with a decimal equivalency, we end up with 0.3125 pounds. We now can take that equivalent to the 5 ounces, combine it with the 4 pounds to give us a final single unit measurement that's equivalent to the given of 4.3125 pounds. For additional practice, look in your textbook on page 8.